Recently, we started quite the meme mania on the Kronos chain, but unfortunately, with all the success, we also see more bad actors and unfortunately, rug pulls. Personally, ladies and gentlemen, I don't dabble much with meme coins, but I do see a big resurgence on the Kronos chain thanks to meme coins. So I think it can't hurt to educate myself a bit more about how meme coins are created and how you can protect ourselves against rug pulls. So guys, I would say let's strap in and let's create Chubby. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm the one and only Coin Baron. And if you don't know me well, I'm really a Crow Maxi, so I won't make too much meme coin content. But today we are on a mission and we want to create our own meme token. And to do so, well, I dabbled a bit on the deck screen and website to get myself some inspiration because I've seen the most ridiculous names over here. But I saw one called Chonk. And Chonk is kind of like meant like fat. So I was thinking, why don't we create a chubby crow? Crows are definitely all the craze on Kronos. So I went over to the AI co-pilot and it drew me the most cutest cross I have ever seen. The cuteness factor is definitely everything for meme coins. Just take a look at Doge, Corgi Eye, and this one, this one just looked so great to me. So I picked the picture and I actually removed the background so I can post it everywhere on a website on Twitter, just basically wherever I want. So we have a name, we have a brand. How about the coding part? And well, ladies and gentlemen, this was supposed to be the hardest part. But honestly, this is the easiest part because we can just go over to minted.network. This is a Kronos Labs website. And there we can find also a link to Mimited, a subpage of minted.network. And there we can see we have this page over here. And there are a lot of tokens already created on the Mimited website. So let's create our own right now. All we got to do right now is think about a token name, a token ticker, and a total supply. The token decimal is a default on Kronos. So the token name, we're going to call it Chubby Crow. Then the question about the token ticker. And let's quickly think about a creative one. And I think the Chubby one has not been used on Kronos yet. So let's check it on the deck screener. And I see a Chubby on base. I see a Chubby on Sol. But I don't see any Chubby on Kronos. So that one is free. So let's call it Chubby. I think I actually kind of like the name. It sounds cute. Uh, let's think about a total supply. Uh, I think Kronos right now has 100 billion. Yeah, like this. Okay, 100 billion. Confirm. Is that it? Yeah, I think so. It will cost me 1.13 crow. That's not much. Let's, let's do it. Let's confirm. Generating the token, please don't close the page. I've never done this before, ladies and gentlemen. Just a public service announcement over here. That's it. We created Chubby. Successfully printed for 100 billion supply. As you can see on the Kronos scan, I did just create the Chubby Crow token and I set myself 100 billion Crow. So, what I will do is I will open the main wallet over here, add a token, import token and make sure to add the contract address. And it should find already Chubby18. Yes, <laughs> that's it. If I am right right now, you will see I've got myself 100 billion Chubby. Whoa, I'm so rich right now. Now that we have created the token, we also need to create a liquidity pool. Otherwise, you can't trade. So what I will do, I will go to VVS Finance and create a pair. I will create a pair for Crow and Chubby. And then we can start trading on the VVS Finance DAP. So what we will do right now on VVS Finance, let's go to trade and then liquidity. And what we will do on the standard one, let's add some new liquidity. And what I just did, I already imported my Chubby token over here. One crow for 100 billion Chubby. Let's enable Chubby right now. And we have to confirm that this is fine. We can use and trade Chubby. Okay, so enabling Chubbly right now, Kronos Chain is luckily blazing fast. And right now, I will be able to just mint Chubby over here. Let's supply. Create pool and supply. And there we go. That should be a fair launch. Okay, view on Kronos scan. There we go. So we just created our own liquidity pair 
for Crow and Chubby. And right now, Chubby, guys, is extremely, extremely, extremely cheap. <laughs> On VVS, I can also right now trade to get back some more Chubby. So if I select Chubby, Chubby, Chubby. Yeah, let's go. If I would pay one Crow, I would get back 86,000 Crow or Chubby. <laughs> Interesting, interesting. Okay, so that would be actually a lot less than what I originally paid. So I'm curious if anyone has been using the liquidity pool already. What I also find funny is that if you go to deck screener right now, you can go to find Chubby on Crow. Chubby Crow over here has already been trading for quite a few people with a few US dollar over here on left and right. So I don't know. <laughs> it was not me, guys. It wasn't me. Anyways, I do think this is a good example to show you that there are a lot of bots active as well on the Kronos chain. So even with those newly created tokens and newly created liquidity pools, there are already bots looking at, hey, can I can I snag this? Can I get this? So also with those pre-sales or whatever, be very wary. What should also be a red flag for you guys is that right now I am the sole and only liquidity provider over here. And it's right now coinbear.crow and nothing is sent to the null address. So I have received a liquidity provider token. If I would have sent that to the null address, that meant the liquidity pool is locked. So I can't pull back any of the liquidity and kind of kill the token. Always guys, take a look over here at the, the liquidity part. And for many projects, it will show you a lock. And a lock is always a good thing. Something else that I should tell you guys is that, well, we have over here the Go Plus security and it shows an issue. It shows a big issue and that's that we haven't renounced the ownership and that's absolutely right. If we head back over to Mimitit, you can see we can manage our own token. So I printed this token so I can manage it. And manage, it sounds cool, but what you can do is you can change the whole contract address. So I could, for example, change the max amount of supply. I could mint some more. How cool is that? In theory, it doesn't have to be a big problem, but it is really like, trust me, bro. Because if you don't trust the person behind the contract, yeah, it's, it's a really dangerous thing. Especially because even if you trust the person behind the contract, the person behind the contract can get hacked. So be very wary, guys, on if you see a token with a non-renounced contract, if you really want to trade that. To create a successful token, it is not only just blockchain engineering, it's also a bit of social engineering. Because as you can see, over here we created our own website to make sure our followers of our little project over here know that our LP is 100% burnt. It isn't, but well, do they know? And what is, it, what is our project about? Well, we are just a little fat crow. Isn't that cute? And we also, of course, have our own roadmap. And yeah, we created a contract. We funded our liquidity pool, uh, but we haven't renounced our contract yet. So <laughs> that website isn't the only thing. Of course, we also want to foster our own community. And therefore, guys, also want to create our own Twitter. And I want to create our own Discord page. Creating the Discord is really easy because I already have our own Discord, the Gentle Guild Discord. So let's upload our own little thing over here. Chubby, let's go. This is the Chubby Crow community. Woo! And there we go, a beautiful Discord, even some fake member number, it seems. And it looks already very professional. So this is definitely already a win for the Chubby community. Another win for the community is our lovely X profile over here. And let's also make a quick post to make sure that the Crow fam is following us. Kaka, Crow fam, has anyone seen my brother Crow with knife? <laughs> kind regards, Chubby. Of course, guys, definite good chill. If I would improve it, I would also tag some influencer uh, <laughs> within the community, and that would maybe increase our range. But I think even doing things like this is already quite helpful. Let's quickly post it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's quickly recap on our meme playbook over here. So first, we thought about the brand, a very unique cute meme. Then we continued with the contract address and we also created a liquidity pool. Further, we continued by creating some social engagement. We created a website, we created a Discord, we created a Twitter page. And yeah, that, that's kind of it. And also we found a wannabe influencer trying to shill the meme to you guys. 
Anyways, that's all, of course, a joke. I am not interested at all in Chubby. I hope it really dies peacefully on the chain. But uh, at least I think it was really educational for me and also for you guys to see, hey, how easy is it to create a meme and also what the dangers are. Having said that, ladies and gentlemen, I might sound a bit negative, but overall, if there are any good memes that help the community, I am all for it, guys. So if you are one of the people that were afraid to create your own community on Kronos, I hope you now have seen it's really easy and it's really fun to do so as well. So feel free if you are not going to wreck the community. Having said that, ladies and gentlemen, I am the Coin Baron and I hope to see you in some real crow related content. So please guys, like this video, subscribe for more, and then we'll see you in the next one. Till then.